Hello guys. Today we will focus on a topic called as anonymous object. See when you heard about anonymous, it means an object which doesn't have any name in a simple terms. But the problem is when you when you use this anonymous object in your code, what it exactly mean? See basically, you know sometimes whenever you want to work with something, you you always have to create some objects. And objects are created using class. So in simple terms, if you want to use something, you have to create object. And objects are created from class. Before starting with it, let you know, let's focus on how objects are created. In basic terms, if A is my class and I have to create object of A, I can create objects in this way. A OBJ, this is the creation of reference. If I have to create object, this is new and bracket. That means this is creating of reference, this is creating of object. So when you combine it, you will get an object with name OBJ. In an example, let's suppose you have you, you are going to the college for the first day, you know, first time in the college, you don't know any person. You don't have any friend in that college. So whenever you interact with any person, let's suppose if you want to ask for an extra pen or if you want to ask his uh, you know, uh, timetable, first you will ask his name. Just like, what's your name? Uh, so he, you know, you will do some friendship. Like he will say his name is Krishna. So now whenever you want to uh, interact with him, you will, you will use Hi Krishna. That means you know his name. right? So in these terms, Krishna is an object who has name as Krishna. In the same way, when you go in bus or a normal bus where you have to buy some ticket, at that time, you don't ask the name of the conductor. I don't think anybody asks in this way. Yes sir, what's your name? Okay, Tukaram, Tukaram, I need a ticket. You know, nobody does in this way. They ask for directly a ticket for some place. In the same way, both are objects. Krishna was an object, conductor was an object. But the thing is, you know the name of Krishna, but you know, don't need the name of conductor because you will use a conductor object only once. And you will use a friend object many times. So you require an object name when you want to use it many times. But if you want to use the object for one time, you can only define anonymous object. Now, how it define? See, when I write A O B J, it means I'm giving, I'm creating a reference of A as name as OBJ. When I want ki this OBJ will be converted into object, I have to assign a memory which will be specified by constructor. So that means this is what when I say I'm creating an object. That's it. So this is creating an object. This is creating an reference. So if I remove this content simply, this is what how I create objects. When I say new, with a constructor, this is creating an object which doesn't have any name. And in short, it is called as anonymous object. But the only problem is, if you are using this type of object, you cannot, cannot use this object for the second time. This is for only one time use. In short, anonymous object. That's it.